All right, thanks so much, Elizabeth. Of course, <laughs> squash, probably one of my favorite things to eat this yeah, time of the year. Yeah. And Jan Laird is here, and she has some tips on how to use the squash and also some quick, easy recipes. Yeah. Good it's morning. Spaghetti squash. Good morning. Good to be back here. So, um, what are we starting with? We're starting with spaghetti squash. Okay. This is what a spaghetti squash looks like. So okay. Let's do squash 101. <laughs> okay. Yes, I need it. Okay. I've always wondered how to do this. Squash is kind of hard to cut through. You know that if you right. Oh, through. yeah. So, it's really this is the hard. way I cut through it. Okay. Cut the top and the bottom. Okay. See how hard it is? Yeah, it and is. And then I'm tough. going through the middle. Okay. Just right down the middle. You gotta get a good knife for that, I would imagine. You do. Too. You have to get a good knife. Good muscles. Okay, okay it opens up like that. Okay. You're going to get a, um, take out the seeds. Okay. And this is the spaghetti squash, right? This is okay. the spaghetti squash. You wanna get all the seeds out. Okay. Goodness. And that part's not too difficult? That part's not difficult. That's okay. easy. Okay. Okay. Most, okay, we're gonna bake it. Okay. Side up. Side up. Okay. Side up. I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil or butter mm -hmm. or whatever kind of oil that you need. Okay. Some people put uh, water on the bottom of their pan. Okay. Uh, so that the bottom of the uh, shell does not burn. Doesn't happen with spaghetti squash. Oh, okay. okay. So, so you're okay without doing that right. with this. But I usually put it in a glass pan. Okay. A glass pan. Okay. So, so we're scooping it out. And what do you bake it on usually? Um, I bake it about 350, 350 for about 45 to 50 minutes. 45 to and 50. And the way okay. you t you tell if it's done, you're going to get a fork uh -huh. and you're going to puncture the side or scrape off a little bit. And if it's tender, then it's done. It should come out pretty easily. It should come out okay. very very easy. When it comes out, it's supposed to look like this. Like that. Okay. It looks just like spaghetti noodles. So it has it has uh, shrunk a little bit. Mm -hmm. As you can tell, yeah, yeah, it's supposed to look, and it's burnt a little bit on the shell. But we're not going to eat the shell, so it doesn't okay. really matter. Oh, perfect! And so this is one that I've kind of just pulled away from the squash, mm -hmm. but it looks like this. When okay, it comes so out. That, it looks like this. You scratch it, you pull it out, and then there and you then have your. And then it looks like that, and it looks base. just like spaghetti. It does. This exactly. is a really, really good low carb mm -hmm. dish. Uh, it's really good for your vegetarian people for Thanksgiving. Oh yeah. <clears throat> And you can actually make spaghetti out of it, right? And you can, yeah. You okay. use this instead of spaghetti. So we're going to put some spaghetti. And it looks just like spaghetti. It does. So it's so good for you. I've and had like it before, so. and I've always wanted to make it. So I'm glad you came on oh, to show okay, us good. a few The tips only on thing about a spaghetti squash or any kind of squash is cutting through that shell. But yes, that, that is so hard. You do have to have a, a sharp knife. Now, the, another key is you got to cut the bottom off and the top off so it doesn't move, move around. Move around. Okay? That is a big tip. Then okay. You, and so then this uh, sauce right here is just okay. marinara sauce. That I've made using our homemade tomatoes and basil and some onions and oregano. Oh, that looks Just wonderful. a real simple, simple sauce. You can put Italian sausage in it. You okay. can do whatever you want with it. And then you just cover it up like the noodles. And you cover it up oh, just like the noodles. Awesome. Do you it like Parmesan like cheese? Yeah, I like Parmesan. Okay. Throw a little Parmesan, and you got your dish ready. And you have your dish ready. Right okay, there. so this isn't the only thing you're teaching us today. Correct. You got one other fantastic the next, recipe, right, right? The next thing is acorn squash. Okay. Stuffed acorn squash. So the same thing with acorn squash. Okay. You, this is a golden acorn squash, and this is a regular acorn squash that I. Does it I matter felt. which one? It really doesn't matter. Okay. It really doesn't matter. Again, you cut off the end. Okay. And you're going to cut off this top. Okay. But you can also leave this. In, um, on, but I'm going to show you why you wouldn't. Okay. okay? And then you're going to cut the middle this way. Okay. So just do sides and then straight down right. the middle. Okay. Again, the reason you cut the ends off, so they're flat, flat. on the bottom. So that when makes you sense. bake them, okay. they're not moving around, and you can um, bake them like that. So you, again, take out the seeds. Okay. Just like that. Real easy to do. Okay. I love acorn squash because of the design. It looks like a flower. It does. It's Doesn't pretty. It? It's really, yeah. really pretty. I love baking with acorn sauce because it's pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. Now, the recipe calls for turnips okay. and carrots. So while your acorn squash is baking in the oven, again, a little bit of butter. A lot okay. of people just put butter and brown sugar. Same and bake thing. It. And the same thing with the baking <coughs> of the that squash. Correct. 350 for about 45 <coughs> minutes or so. Right. And you're going to test it with the fork. With the fork. If it's soft, it's ready. It's ready to go. But a okay. lot of People, um, the recipe that I put on board calls for uh, turnips and, mm -hmm. and carrots. Okay. You can also use potatoes if you don't have turnips. Okay. okay. And carrots. And what you're going to do is boil them in a pan to get them soft. Okay. While this is baking. While that's baking. Okay. When they come out, they look like this. Okay. You're going to get. You're going to. You're going to scoop out the um, the pulp. Okay. Of the acorn squash. Okay. And right. mix it in with the potatoes. And the carrot. 
Oh, and then you're going to mix, mix it, it together. all together. Okay. Right. Okay. And I know we're running out of time, so I don't know you're if we can speed this up. But you can smash it up. Okay. And then you're going to add some apples. Okay. For the sweetness, and you're going to add some nutmeg and cinnamon, and put it in your acorn squash. Oh, so you like just put that. it back in you the skin. You put it back all in right. the skin, so it looks like that. And I just kind of sprinkled some egg, uh, nutmeg on top of that. That's quick and easy. <clears throat> I love it. And it's healthy too, and you so know, and it's like always that. so great. And you can just cut it up, year. and or just put your fork in there and eat okay. it. Okay. Really easy recipes. Yeah. Really, really easy recipes. Um, this has the sweetness of the of the uh, carrots and the apples. Okay. And the squash is sweet, so it's all good. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Jan. And if you can't get to cooking in your kitchen and you want her to come in, she's awesome. We have her information <laughs> on our website, too. And, of course, the recipes, too. Just go to casa.com and look in the Casa blog. And coming right back, we're going to have another check for your weather. Uh, that will be here in just a few minutes. And the quick three-minute way to get you going in the morning that doesn't require coffee. We'll be back in a minute.